Today, 100 more doses of the COVID-19 vaccine will be given to employees at UF Health Jacksonville who are at the highest risk. Then more vaccines will be administered each day until all frontline staff is vaccinated. Joining me now via Zoom is Chad Nielsen. He's the Director of Infection Prevention at UF Health Jacksonville. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So uh, we saw, uh, you know, employee after employee yesterday at UF Health receive the vaccine. Uh, have you, can you give us some updates about their conditions? Have any of them experienced any adverse reaction to the vaccine? Uh, no, not at this time. We gave 10 injections yesterday. We followed up with the uh, healthcare workers who received it over the course of the day, as well as this morning, and uh, no reactions at all. There are some who are still skeptical, as we know. Um, would you explain how the vaccine works in the body, since there are some who are concerned that this might involve injecting the body with the live virus? Yeah, so there is no live virus with this vaccine, uh, as opposed to the flu virus uh, vaccine that you receive annually. So instead, this vaccine uses mRNA technology. So uh, in essence, we're, we're um, basically fooling the body into activating the immune system against COVID-19, but there is no live or dead virus in this vaccine. That said, given its name, Operation Warp Speed, it does make people still a little nervous that perhaps this was rushed. How do you respond to that and, and concerns about its safety? Yeah, so I, I want to first underline that uh, the type of technology that's used in this vaccine versus the, the typical flu vaccine or, or others uh, allows us to develop it quicker. So the mRNA vaccines can come to market a lot quicker uh, due to the type of technology it uses. Uh, this trial from Pfizer and Moderna, when that vaccine comes out, have been uh, overseen by many uh, independent committees, watching the safety, watching the efficacy numbers. And so we have high confidence that uh, both of these vaccines, once the Moderna is also approved, are not only safe, but efficacious. How, how did it come about that UF Health Jacksonville was able to be the, the one of five hospitals in the state to be able to basically kind of hold this vaccine and distribute it to other hospitals? Yeah, so uh, we joined into a coalition uh, with the four other, I guess what they're calling the Pfizer Five, uh, to be a part of this. And we have certain logistical capabilities here that a lot of hospitals don't. Uh, we have ultra cold freezers that can hold the vaccine. We're close to highways and airports, and we have a lot of logistical ability uh, to not only receive the vaccine, but also distribute it down the supply chain line. So I think all those factors, uh, moreover, uh, were why we were selected. So it's interesting because I know as we've heard, you know, it has to be stored in these sub-zero, what, 94 degrees or something below zero yeah. temperatures. Do, how do you monitor that for those who might be a little concerned about it getting a little mm -hmm. too warm and, warm and not being effective? Yeah, so all of our freezers are really meant for, for research and in, um, in, uh, other type of ultra cold storage methods. Uh, these freezers are uh, monitored 24 hours a day. Uh, and if they come out of a certain temperature range, they get too warm or too cold, sort of alarms go off. It alerts certain people and technicians to come immediately and, and deal with the issue. So uh, we maintain that cold chain throughout the entire process from receipt to when the vaccine goes in the arm. And we have uh, we have utmost confidence that uh, the temperatures were, were kept in the right range. So it's interesting. I, I know that that starting even as early as last week, when word started spreading throughout the community that UF Health Jacksonville would be receiving the vaccines, people have actually been coming to the hospital saying, I'm ready. I want the vaccine. Would yeah. you explain who it will be available for, you know, since it's not available to the general public at this point? Yeah, so right now it's truly available for the healthcare workers. Uh, the way that the state of Florida and ACA have, have allowed us to roll this out is targeting specifically uh, the frontline uh, staff here at our hospital, as well as our partner hospitals who we will be distributing to. Uh, now is not the time for the public to get it. Uh, the next phase of this after healthcare workers is going to involve long-term care facility, nursing home patients. And then after that, probably sometime in the spring is when we'll see it start to seep out into the general public. Chad Nielsen, Director of Infection Prevention with UF Health Jacksonville, joining us this morning. Thank you, Chad, for your time. We know you've been very busy. We appreciate you uh, joining us this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.